First time they've used a three-man back line this season. And here's some action right here from McFarland. Very confident going forward. McFarland putting on the moves and slid out. Ah, you'd rather see that good at a little bit. Yeah. Cross perfectly right on frame. Puts in the midfield. That wide to McFarland. McFarland with lots of space. This will move to his left. Now hooks it in. And the chance is there. their lines back when they do lose the ball. So showing better patience. I think this is a very tough team to break down. I think they're going to have to try to find space between the lines or have shots from distance like we saw with Mendiola and Eric Calvillo. Team's so used to. So we'll see on McFarland gets into the box. Argentina, Fluminense in Brazil, the Argentine, a fantastic resume, will turn 36 in May. But still a lot left in the tank. Austin has to figure out a way to get Dario Conca involved. Just hasn't seen enough of the ball early this Take it away. Para comes free. Looking to get a cross in, comes around. Para tips it across, and a nice save made. What a header There by is. McFarland.
Garland by Johnson. Ricochets it over the crossbar. I got a chance to talk with him last year at USL Cup. but not nearly as windy as the first game against San Antonio. So the ball in the air, not swirling it around as much. Here's a ball down to McFarland down the right, taking down on the edge of the area, and that will be a free kick in the first yellow card of the day. That's going to be issued to Chiro and many opportunities, but they had the more meaningful opportunities in the first half against the motive did. So you're seeing here again, they do have quality going forward. Played into Lima. 